Hello friends, how are you doing? Uh, so far we have uh, touched upon uh, enterprise architecture, solution architecture, infrastructure architecture, um, and uh, data architecture, all those things, right? And um, today, in this video, we are going to see what is application architecture. You might have heard about this application architecture um, in many places if you are a software engineer and when you talk to your uh, manager or uh, architect or a client, they might have uh, come, up, come up with this word uh, application architecture or application architect. Uh, at high level, you may think that uh, whoever is involved in with application may uh, may have good knowledge about application and they may be called as architect, but uh, it is not. So let's go with the um, first term application architecture, okay? And then uh, we will see who is going to be application architect, okay? Um, so yes, we start with uh, our uh, basic example of um, uh, construction uh, or car manufacturing, right? So assume that um, a person who has more knowledge about constructing the house. Um, so who, what do you call him as? So you may call him as an engineer, right? Or Sometimes you can call uh, as a designer who designs the house. So what he does exactly, so he creates the blueprint of the house and then uh, he collects all the um, builders to build the house, right? So you can call him as a um, building engineer or uh, you can call him as a, a designer right, building designer. In case of uh, car manufacturing company, what will happen, a person who has more knowledge about designing the car, uh, what size it has to be, how many wheels it, uh, it should have, and what kind of uh, fuel system it should have. So that person is knowledgeable on car designing, right? Um, similarly, for any software application, the person should have a knowledge on what uh, the UI layer is going to be and what the middle layer is going to be and what the data layer is going to be. And um, similar to the about two example of uh, house construction and car manufacturing, the software person should also have um, knowledge on the layers of the application, okay? So suppose um, if the application is built with only uh, two layers, normally in olden days, uh, the applications were built with only just two layers. One is UI layer and another one is uh, the data layer. So the UI layer, uh, the users are provided with all the controls, whatever they needed for to do their work. For example, if it is a shopping cart application, the user um, needs uh, the user login page and uh, the page to select the product and the page to add the product to the cart and the page to check out. Um, and once the user uh, completes all these activities, the data will get stored in the database um, and the order will get processed for the user or customer. So this is uh, just a two tier architecture just a one layer of UI and another layer of data. So the person who designs this uh, two-tier architecture is also a, an application architect. And um, since um, the modern days uh, have a lot of uh, um, users and the volume of users increased and la la there are performance issues, latency issues. so. This two-tier architecture uh, is not helpful. So the application architects who has more knowledge on how to design an application came up with the entire architecture. So what is entire architecture basically? So entire architecture is, or you can call it as a multi-tier architecture. So entire architecture or multi-tier architecture is nothing but uh, 
the application uh, is going to have multiple layers okay so in contrast to your um, two tier architecture the n tier architecture will have a ui layer and uh, also the middle layer okay which receives the request from the ui and then it may also have um, additional layers for processing other request for example if the application needs to process a batch request there will be a batch process layer or um, scheduler uh, layer and uh, in case if the application needs the security that's very important in nowadays right so the security layer um, and uh, to receive the data and uh, process the data there will be a data layer and then it will it will have a database um so coming to the micro sector um, micro services architecture uh, it is uh, still divided further into individual services so that will make the application very robust reliable and sustainable um so the person who has the wealth of knowledge on building each layers or each tiers of this application is called application architect so hope you might have uh, connected the dots by now uh, i'll just quickly summarize uh, application application architecture is nothing but um, layers of application to perform the functionality of the application okay in the olden days we used to have two tier architecture uh, it it had only ui layer and the database layer and uh, later when the complexity increased um, application architects who has more knowledge on these layers of the application built multi tier architecture or n tier architecture so that n tier architecture has the multiple layers like uh, ui layer middle layer security layer and schedule job layer data access layer and database and so on and uh, when it comes to microservices world even in the middle layer will get uh, split into multiple microservices so the person who has the wealth of knowledge uh, about all these layers and who has the capability to build these layers or who has the capability to design this layer or called application architect hope you got some good information today if you like this video give a thumbs up have a good day bye